I wouldn't say I'm wrong very often, okay? And I will always be an advocate for not buying the DLCs for WWE games. Recently, I went back and played all the SmackDown vs Raw games because I'm making a video ranking them all. Oh my god, I've got to apologise to 2K because they changed the space with WWE games. Like, quite literally, it's insane how much of a difference there is compared to these old games. The control schemes are clunky. It just doesn't feel right. Of course, graphics have improved. It's just all so much better. I can be upset that there's not really much difference each year it comes out. There should be some sort of significant difference. After going back and playing these games now, holy moly, I can't really say that much bad stuff about 2K. Good lord. We went back and played SmackDown vs. Raw 2005, like the original SmackDown vs. Raw, and there are hardly any moves that you can do. You can only use the D-pad to move. It's just clunky as hell. It's disgusting. Jesus, they changed the cons the control scheme in such a good way that I can't comprehend how much of a difference it actually is. Like, we worked our way up through 2005 to 2011, and only in around about 2009-10 was when control seemed to feel somewhat better. But even then, it still feels clunky as hell, and sometimes it feels like what you're pressing doesn't even work properly. Like, it was either 2007 or 2008, I'm not quite sure, I can't remember. But I couldn't even figure out how to Irish whip someone. Whereas every other game, I figured it out eventually. But on that one, I couldn't. It physically wouldn't happen, no matter how many buttons I pressed. It just wouldn't happen. So I have to say sorry in that regards to giving that like slate to 2K. I will of course carry on giving slate with like regards to DLCs and the fact they're not worth it. Although this year they've got me again. Again they've got me because there will be one DLC pack I buy in 2K24. And that's the Post Malone one. Whichever one he is in. Because I'm a huge fan of Post Malone. I've met him. The man signed my arm and I've got a tattoo there, which I'll show you right here real quick. There, right there. Uh, he signed my arm when I met the man. And he's the executive music producer or some something along those lines for 2K24. And apparently he's getting scammed in the game and put in there. So they've beat me in that sense as well. I will be getting one of the DLC packs, but not all of them because they are not all worth it to me. And even that's not really worth it to me because there's not really going to be any time I actually use him most likely but i want him to say i can I, I can have him in the game a lot of people clown on this and think it's a terrible waste of a slot but they do it a lot so i don't i don't get that there are a lot of comments around saying that they could have added more like NX, nxt stars which is fair enough i guess but i'm not asked I don't care. I'm not getting the DLCs anyway, except for the one with Post Malone in it. Which makes a difference, because last year I didn't care about Bad Bunny, but I got him anyway from pre-ordering the game. I do apologise, 2K, for the slander I give, because, goddamn, you made a hell of a lot of a difference compared to the old SmackDown vs. Raw games. Jesus. It's, it's all well and good looking back on thinking of all the good times nostalgia-wise, but good lord, I did not realise how drastic these games were with their move sets the lack of entrances the graphics obviously i knew the graphics weren't that good but good lord going back on them and, and playing them compared to the new 2k games they are something else maybe go try them yourself and see what you think but they're gonna stay in the past for me now and they can they can be looked back on with the good memories and the good nostalgia rather than actually playing them again i don't think i can <laughs> that's all though i just wanted to talk about it a little bit See ya.